This video will cover setting tab and tab types in Microsoft Word. I'll be using Word version 2010 to demonstrate. However, it would be identical in version 2007, 10, 13, and later. By default, when you begin in a Word document, unless you've changed your tab stops, each time you press the tab key, your cursor will move to the right in half inch increments. If you click the Show Hide in the paragraph group of the Home ribbon, you'll be able to see that the tab stop is in the non-printing characters area is actually show, designated by this small arrow. Go ahead and zoom that up a little larger for you. So when I place tabs in, it's like any other character. If I want it removed, I need to remember to backspace it out, not just arrow past it and push those characters along. There are many times, though, that a half-inch tab stop is not sufficient, and so you'll want to get that tab stop moved somewhere else. If you open up the Paragraph dialog box from the, the dialog box launcher on the Home ribbon, you'll find in there another button in the bottom left-hand corner with Tabs that will allow you to open up the Tabs dialog box. First of all, notice that over here on the right hand side is where that default tab stop is at. So that means that when you begin a new document, your tabs will be at every half inch. It's unlikely that you would ever want to change this. It is possible, but it is unlikely. To change the tab stop for the particular paragraph that you're on, you don't mess with this default over here. Your cursor is flashing over here to the left under tab stop position. So let's say that I wanted to set a tab at the 4 inch mark. I'm going to go ahead and type a, tab, uh, a 4 in here. Notice that I'm not changing the alignment or the leader. We'll discuss those in a minute. I can go ahead and hit the set button and I'll see that 4 move down here into the larger box at the bottom. Since that's the only tab stop I want to set, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. If I look at my ruler, I'll notice right away a little L right there at the 4 inch mark. Notice now that when I press the tab key only once, it doesn't go a half inch but takes me all the way over to the 4. So then I can type my text, press enter, tab again. Each time you press the enter key, you create a new paragraph. The format of the paragraph you create will be the format of the paragraph that you were in when you hit enter. Since the paragraph I was in had a tab stop at the 4 inch mark, the paragraph I create will have a tab stop at the 4 inch mark. If I'm going to change it, I need to enter to get that next paragraph and then I can change it for that in future paragraphs. But I do have to make sure that I have entered and actually created that next paragraph. Notice that it is the left hand side of all this text that is lined up at the 4 inch mark. Now to assist us to see this easier, I'm going to go ahead and change the paragraph spacing of the entire document. So I'm going to go ahead and select all by triple clicking in the left margin and open the paragraph dialog box. I'm going to change the spacing from the default of 10 point after down to 0. I'm also going to change the line spacing from multiple to single. Remember that that is that paragraph spacing would be slightly different defaults in versions 2007, 2010, 2013. But the concept is identical. By removing this paragraph spacing, I think it's easier for you to see in this tab's discussion that it is the left side of the text that's lined up. I did a control end to go to the end of the document and my cursor is at the end of the text. I'm going to go ahead and press enter to create a new paragraph before I open the tabs dialog box. I'm going to go ahead then and, and click the paragraph uh, dialog box launcher to open the paragraph dialog box and then tabs to open the tabs dialog box. Now since what I really want to do is, is well I want to get rid of the old tabs so I'm going to go ahead and, and clear all and I want to set a new tab at 4 inches but now I want to change the alignment to center. So I type a 4, I hit center and then I click set. I could then proceed to type any other tab stops that I wanted in the document and finally click OK. Notice that my cursor is down below these others. I did not change the tab stops for those three paragraphs. I'm in this fourth paragraph. Notice the upside down T at the four inch mark. Notice that when I press the tab key, just like before, it takes me to four inches. But now the text 
and the more text and even more text while pressing tab takes me to four inches just like it did in the first three paragraphs because I now have a center aligned tab it is the center of that text that is aligned at the four inch mark that's what the upside down T represents is a center aligned tab I'm gonna go ahead and press enter to create another paragraph and I'm gonna go right back into the dialog box I'm going to clear all to get rid of my um, current tab stops and I'm gonna go ahead and type 4 again to finish out this comparison so I type a 4 this time I want it right aligned so I type 4 I click right I click set that's the only tab I want so I'm gonna go ahead and click OK notice the backwards L at the 4 inch mark representing a right aligned tab I'm gonna go ahead and press tab and just like with the other two when I press the tab key it takes me all the way over to the 4 inch mark then I'm gonna go ahead and type my text and I'm gonna go ahead and enter tab more text enter tab and even more text while the tab key took me to the 4 inch mark just like it did with the left aligned and the center aligned tab with the right aligned tab notice that it is the right edge of the text that lines up at at the 4 inch mark so I can bring these concepts together I can go ahead and go into my paragraph dialog box and clear my existing tabs I'm gonna go ahead and set a tab stop for one inch and I want it to be left aligned then I'm gonna set a tab stop exactly in the middle of my screen since I have default margins of one inch on the left and the right that's going to leave me with six and a half inches so I'm going to go ahead and set a tab at three and a quarter I want that to be a center aligned tab and then an inch in from the right hand side would be at uh, uh, inch in from the right hand margin would be five and a half since I'm eight and a half inches wide with one inch margin on each side that leaves me six and a half inches of typing area minus one so that'd be five and a half for my right edge or an inch in from the right I want that to be a right aligned tab I'm gonna go ahead and set so if I notice I set a one inch tab with a left alignment a three and a quarter inch tab with center alignment a five and a half inch tab with right alignment when I'm all done I click OK those tabs are from this paragraph and other future paragraphs look at the ruler I have an L at the one inch mark an upside down T at three and a quarter and a backwards L at five and a half I'm gonna go ahead and press tab and then I'm gonna type Kaylee Dugan tab president tab Flintstone fabrics enter tab Sean Dugan tab CEO tab mystery machines Inc enter tab Kim Feeney tab accountant tab Acme products so you can see with these three that I have the left edge lined up here at the one inch mark the center of these words lined up at the three and a quarter inch and the right edge of these words lined up at at five and a half since I see that can see these on the ruler I can adjust them from the ruler as well since I want to adjust them for these three lines of text or paragraphs I'm gonna go ahead and select those paragraphs and then I'm gonna point at this L at the one inch mark I'm gonna click and hold I'm gonna go ahead and drag it back to half an inch notice it drug back these this text for these three paragraphs here I'm gonna do the same thing here grab this and I'm gonna drag it back to the six again moving that half an inch off to the right you need to be very careful when you do actually drag this sometimes people accidentally drag it down off the ruler and that's how you delete something delete a tab stop but when you do drag it down off the ruler it kind of makes a mess because now all of this has to adjust into that plus the next tabs you can see they're at half inch well it's difficult to see but that's what that little line at the bottom indicates that after the last tab stop it continues at the half inch because that's the default nothing else there is changing that just remember that when you do accidentally pull one off undo is your best friend and put it right back in place and then you can go ahead and grab it and slide it 
to wherever you wanted to slide it to. Now I've moved both of those in in toward the middle another quarter inch. So this one is at three quarters, still center aligned at three and a, and, and a quarter, and now I've right aligned at five and three quarters. Tab stops can also be set just with the ruler. I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this text. And that should take me back, yep, to absolutely no tab stops. Notice there's no L's upside down, or backwards L's, upside down T's on the ruler. See this little small line at the bottom that indicates to me I'm back to the default of half inch. Or I could actually open the dialog box and I'd see that there's nothing in here except the default of every half inch that I'm probably never going to change. So. If I wanted to set a tab at the half inch mark, I simply point at the half inch mark right on the ruler. Be careful you don't point below it. Okay, this is going to hide white space of your document. You hide the margin. You don't want to do that. You don't want to be below it. You don't want to be above it. You simply want to click right on the ruler at the half inch mark. Notice there's an L. Notice also if you follow this all the way to the left that there's a little box to the left of the ruler that has an L on it. So what that means is that if I clicked out at other points on the ruler, I'm going to get little L's. If I want to get rid of a tab from the ruler, I simply pull it straight down. I don't want any other L's. I want to set a center, center aligned tab out at the three and a quarter inch mark. But I know that if I click, I'm going to get L's. But if I come back to this little box and I click, that L turns into an upside down T. Now I can come out to the three and a quarter inch mark on the ruler and click and I'll have an upside down T. Again, if I come back to this little box and I click one more time, it'll turn into a backwards L, which I know represents a right aligned tab. And then I'm going to come over here half an inch from the right, and I'm going to go ahead and click. And now I've set a, a tab over here. I'm going to go ahead and type the same information that I did before, but this time just to demonstrate that I did it with the rulers by setting the tab on the rulers. Kaylee is the president of Flintstone Fabrics and Sean, oops, I forgot to press tab. Oh, try that again. Kaylee is the president of Flintstone Fabrics. We go ahead and adjust that paragraph spacing back down to zero and single. And Sean is the CEO of Mystery Machines. And Kim is the accountant of Acme products, etc. So it's the same exact thing, but I never opened the dialog box. I set the tabs from the ruler. I can set left, center, and right aligned tabs. There are some other tabs to be discussed in a word class, um, decimal aligned tabs, bar aligned tabs, or bar tabs. And as I click, I'll go through some of these other tabs, eventually clicking back to the L, so I know that I've rotated through the entire series. Finally, the last thing to discuss would be how to set tabs with leaders. So I'm going to go ahead and come down a couple paragraphs. I'm going to go into the paragraph dialog box and then into the tabs dialog box. Leaders can only be changed or set when you're in the dialog box. There's not a way to do them on the ruler. So I come in here and the first thing I need to do is go ahead and clear all. I want to go ahead and set a leader. The most popular or commonly used leader is the dot leader. And it's usually used with a right aligned tab. And I'm going to set it all the way at the margin. So I'm going to set it six and a half inches right aligned with this dot leader, which is leader number two. And since it's the only thing I want to do, and then I want to close the dialog box. Notice I don't have to hit set. I can just click OK. So then I'm going to go ahead and type the text that I want to the left. And when I press tab, it will take me out to the six and a half inch mark, or in other words, the right hand margin. Let me go ahead and get my text in there so you can see what it looks like. And I can't even spell today, can I? And uh, notice that what it did is gave me dots between the point that I press tab all the way over to the six and a half inch mark. As the text came in, the dots adjusted, shortened. Go ahead and finish this. I'm going to go ahead and press enter. Raz, it's a Chesapeake Bay Retriever. 
different dogs that I've owned in my life. Snoopy was a mixed mutt. Okay, so since I did a right aligned, it's the right edge here. This I did at the margin, so it's the left edge. But because of that dot leader, leader number two, I get all these dots. And the only way to get periods between text on the left and text on the right, for example, a table of contents or anything, any, anything like that where you would want the dots, the only way to get those dots to line up is to use a dot leader. You cannot tab to make it line up. You cannot um, period, space, period, space, period, space to make it line up. Um, you you cannot type it to get it to line up. You can only use the tabs with a dot leader. There are two other leaders available. I'm going to go ahead and press the Enter key twice. Come right back into the Tabs dialog box. This time I'm going to change this from a dot to a dashed leader. I'm going to go ahead and uh, set that and click OK. Notice now how instead of dots, it's dashes I get between the text on the left and the text on the right. I was making my tuxedo cat. And the third type is, go right back in there so you can see it, is an underscore. This is commonly used for different types of forms. Uh, for example, you might do, um, you want your name, and then I'm going to tab and it's going to give me a underscore all the way over. And then in the next line maybe I want the address tab and see how it's giving me those lines even though I'm not typing anything to the right it's giving me the line all the way over there. City, state, zip, tab and I'm getting that, that filled in instead of having to sit there and type the underscore character a, a gazillion times. So I hope that you've learned a lot with this summary. There's another video um, coming up on the power of the ruler that will discuss not only tabs but also indents and margins and other things that you can do on the ruler that you may want to review as well. Good luck.